If you've got Zoho One or Zoho CRM and you add a field in your leads bucket, and let's just say you want to convert that to a deal, a contact and an account, but sometimes the data doesn't always come across. How do you do the lead conversion mapping? Well, that's what we're going to go through here today. So I'm on a brand new lead record and we can see there's all the standard fields plus a few more, but I want to add one. So let's go and do it. Okay, so I am on the lead record. Now I've just gone to create new. Now this is one way to go and you just click on edit page layout and it'll take you to the editing settings and I will also show you the other way to go. So the first way is go to leads, click on new lead, then we're going to go to edit page layout. So now that we're editing the page layout, we can see all of the fields that are in the record. So I'm going to do one thing is I'm going to get rid of this fax because it's probably the most redundant field in the system. So let's go and remove field. Now, if you see it in the black writing, it means it's a standard field and cannot be deleted. If you see anything with red writing, it means it's a custom field. So let's go remove field. Now let's create a new field. Let's call it person type. Okay, so I'm going to grab a multi-select pick list because sometimes someone can be a competitor, a customer or a supplier or a referral partner all in one. So I like to use a multi-select pick list because I'm not going to use it in any automation, but I am going to use it so that I can filter and understand who the customer is to us. So in this case, they're going to be a member and then this one will be an affiliate. Okay. And we will call it person type. Okay. So I've given it a name. We've put in our pick list values. Now we've got some other options here, so we can select a default one. So I might select member as the default. And then further down, I can go display values alphabetically, mark required, or show a tool tip, which will just say something like, who is this person to us, as an example. So now when you hover over the field and you're not quite sure what it does, it'll give you the option to view that as a little pop-up. All right. Let's quickly jump back into this field because there's something important I want to show you. At the bottom, you've got these three options. There are check boxes here that says also create for. Now this is really important because if you miss this, it's going to cost you another 10, 15 minutes worth of work. I'll show you. So at this stage, you have an opportunity to create the records on the account, the contact and the deal. And what it's going to do is going to automatically set up the lead field mapping. Now, if I create that field and then I go and click save up here in the top corner. So, so for example, I've created the field and then I've clicked save, but I haven't selected any of those checkbox options. I miss the opportunity to create that field and automatically map it on the other records. So if I go in and I select edit properties and let's go down and we're going to create this for the contact. Okay. But we're going to also map it to the deal, but I am just going to do this manually for the second part. Okay. First of all, what it's going to do is this field will be added as the last field in the first section of the selected layout. So we, if you've got a lot of fields, that's where you go to look for it. So we've got a contact and we're going to go done. And then we're going to go save. So now I have technically missed my opportunity to automatically set that field up on the deal record and automatically map it. So I'll show you what's happened on the back end. So I'm going to go back to the contacts and I'm back on that contact edit screen just so that I don't have to go and blur stuff on screen because YouTube's a pain. Anyway, coming down here, we've got person type. This is the field we just created. Here is our default selection that we just created. Here is our tooltip. So when you hover over, there's a little bit of advice as to what the field is for and why we should use it. It's really good if you've got a process that requires just a little bit of explanation, just so that it makes it easier for the users. If I select the drop down, now this is a multi select pick list. So now I can also select the affiliate or D the member. So it is a multi select pick list. So I can live with both of those settings or none of those settings or one, etc. So remember that we selected the contact, but not the deal. Now, I also didn't select the account, but in this circumstance, I only wanted to see it on the contact and on the deal. So if we go over to the deal and I go create deal, 
We can't find that field, which means we have to create it. Now, I did promise that I was gonna show you two ways to get to the editing screen of the fields. So here is the second way. So the first way was I'm on the edit screen of the record and I click this edit page layer. Now, the other way is to go through the settings menu. Personally, I prefer this way because it's just faster and I'm generally on the record already when I decide I wanna add or remove a field. So I'm gonna to go to the settings gear in the top right and then I'm gonna come over to modules and fields. Once once I select that, I come down to the record that I'm looking to modify. In this case, I'm going to select the deals. Now that I'm on the deals, I now have to select the page layer. Now you can understand why I prefer to go the other way rather than this way. So if you have multiple page layouts, then any of the changes are only relevant for each individual page layout. You'll have to go across multiple if you need to make those changes in multiple spots. So let's click standard and here we can see that our person type field is missing. So why don't we grab the same field type? In most cases, it has to be the same field type. For example, a number needs to go to a number, although a number could go to a single line text string, but generally I prefer to keep them the same. Uh, obviously a URL goes to a URL, but in this case, we've got a multi-select pick list. Now the next important thing is that the field values are the same. Now the, top, the field could have a different name and we could say person types. In here, we wanna add member and affiliate. If we have a different value or if it's spelt wrong, then it's not gonna be picked up. It's not gonna map that first value into the second value to be the same. Now, in some circumstances, you can add additional fields and the information will display, but it will not display in reports unless it is a listed pick list value. Okay, so once again, we've got the ability to add a default value. I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna show us tooltip. I'm not gonna mark it required and I'm just gonna leave that one alone. So while we're here, I'm gonna show you a bonus tip. If you go into the settings, then you can add bulk options. So if you've got a big list written down in like a document, you can cut paste into here. So let's just say there was 50 values or 100 values. You can easily drop them in in one go by just by adding add bulk option instead of having to manually type them one by one. So now that I've created my field, there's still one thing left to do. I have to map the lead field into the deal field because if I don't, when I convert the lead, that data is not gonna come across. So now I'm gonna save that page and now we need to go to the leads. So let's hit the back button and we'll go via this way. Okay, so we're in the settings area and we've just hit the back button and we've come to this screen here. To get to where we wanna be next, we just go up to the top left and we click on the back button on module. And this gets us to this screen here where you can see all of the modules that are in the system. Another way to get there is you just hit the setup gear and then you go to modules and fields and there you are, we're in the right spot. Let's map those fields. Before we continue, if you're finding this useful, please give a subscribe, hit the like button and let us know in the comments what you thought. Okay, so now we are going to hover over the leads. I'm not gonna click it, I'm just gonna hover over it. And then I'm gonna move my mouse to the right onto this list and we can see we've got a few additional options on that record type or on that module. And I'm just gonna come down to this lead conversion mapping. So once I click on that one, it's gonna take me to a screen that looks like this. And this is where I can see all of the fields, we can see the annual revenue lead field is mapped to the account and annual revenue field. We can see the city is mapped to both the billing city and the mailing city. So it's pretty easy to work out what's gonna happen here. So we can see the deal column on the right. And when we wanna map the deal, then we just come down to the field that we created. And you'll know which ones are custom fields because of the little red star that appears to the left of the word. So we can see that the person type field is already mapped to the person type in the contact field. That's the one we created when we selected the checkbox earlier. So now when I come over to the deal column, I can see that it says none. So I'm just gonna select that one and I'm gonna select the field with the same name and it's already kind of anticipating that it's gonna be a multi-select pick list. So it's really only showing me that option. So then I'm gonna click person type and that is now mapped. As soon as I hit save, we're done. So that is lead conversion mapping. Let's go and create a record now so I can show you. So I'm gonna go up to the plus button here and then I'm going to click new lead. Once I'm in the new lead, we can give it our test and the name is test. So then I'm gonna come down and we're gonna add some detail into our person type field. Now, remembering that it is member by default. So why don't we add it so it's really obvious that this field has worked correctly. So now I'm going to save that and then convert it. Now that we are on the record, let's hit convert. Now to show you the fields coming across to the deal, I'm going to select yes. Let's give it a 
nominal value, close tomorrow, convert. Now on this screen, a lot of times people just click back to leads or click back to contacts or, or where, wherever it was that they were doing. But this is a great place to pause and think about what you need to do next. So if I wanna follow the contact record and then provide some more information, I can click here. If I wanna follow the deal, I can click here. Or if I'm just sitting and going through a whole bunch of leads and processing them forward, then I can just go back to the leads bucket and that'll show me all of the leads. But in this case, why don't we first go to the contact and we'll see where we've already mapped it. So here we come down and we can see that the person type is member and affiliate. Back to our screen here, I'm going to click on the deal now. And when we scroll down, we can see that our person type is member and affiliate. Thank you for watching. You should definitely check out some of our other Zoho videos.